Europe in 60 seconds to Skalbil in Stockholm. First question, what's going to be the division of responsibilities in the new European Commission of Ursula von der Leyen? Well, I think we'll get a hint of that towards the end of the week, where she's supposed to present her proposal before it goes then to the European Parliament and then eventually for ratification, be that early November or whenever. There's a significant battle primarily over the key economic portfolios. The Italians are demanding that their nominee, uh, Fitter, who's been minister in their government, uh, should be given a key economic role. That's somewhat controversial because he also will be the representative of the extreme right part of the European political spectrum. The French, needless to say, want to have their present commissioner, Breton, who's been key and heavy in the outgoing commission, uh, as an even more important personality. So that's going to be one of the battles. Another battle is that the Hungarians want to retain control of enlargement. That will, in all probability, be refused. And then trade, financial affairs, budget are going to be heavily contested portfolios as well. Second question. What's the significance of the visit of Egypt's President Sisi to uh, Turkey? Well, it is really a reconciliation after what happened in 2013, when Sisi staged the military coup against President Morsi, the Muslim Brotherhood president who has been elected and was heavily supported by President Erdogan, who made a jubilant visit to uh, Cairo at the time. So the relationship between these two important countries in the Eastern Mediterranean soured very considerable after 2013, and it's been a long road back to uh, the more normal relationship that has now been established between Turkey and Egypt.